Howdy everyone, my name is Runic Griffin, and I hope that you enjoyed the latest Wednesday upload. If you haven't seen it yet, please go look at The Child of Light. It was a fantastic game, and I would highly recommend watching that video. Now before we get started, I do want to give a shout out to my amazing friends at Atomic Cotton. Absolutely fantastic shirts with the most incredible prints. Horror t-shirts with art made by fans for fans. Link to their website will be in the description down below. Now with that being said, welcome back to Fran Bow, where the last episode we fell into a land of walking talking veggies, turned into a tree, and now we're trying to go full on Pinocchio. Let's try and find our real body. No, no, you can't get in. It's closed. Hmm. Sorry, I just wanted to see what's behind this passage. Well, the library, of course, but it's closed. Come back in fall or winter, then it will be open. Hey, aren't you the talking tree I took to see, Palantris? Yes, that's me. Palantris gave me arms and legs. Yes, and also a head. That's very positive. <laughs> yes, but why is the library closed, sir? Well, that's logic. As the sun goes around the second moon of a thirst, are we open? Only then the real knowledge will be learned. And that only happens in fall and winter. Oh, so you don't learn anything while you are in summer or spring? Of course we learn. We learn all the time. I'm learning now that you like to ask many questions. Well, I'm curious, that's why. Everything looks so different here in Athurster. I guess you're not from around here. Well, I hope to see you soon. Yes, thank you, sir. I... Hmm. So we have to somehow make it winter. This. I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found the truth that relates silently in the unknown. Leon Castillo, one of the thousand. My name is Leon. I'm currently 92 years old and living alone in a little house far away from the city. I have to admit I never was fond of jewelry, houses, or clothing. Since childhood, I always talked to animals, plants, and insects, and even though I never got a response, I never quit. If you are reading this, maybe it's because you are looking for answers, maybe you can see things that others can't, or you can feel what others avoid. You can listen to the silence, and become one with everything. Well, well I mean, his eyes are bleeding, just like ours did in one of the cutscenes, so yeah. December 17th, 1875. I can't stop it. I can't control it. I see the black shadows everywhere. The blood, the messages, the screaming, all the pain. I can't figure out why this is happening to me. December 19th, 1875. I had a vision. I'm still breathing fear. I feel at war with my own mind. One of the shadows came down from the sky. I thought it was an angel. Its name is Remor, Prince of Darkness from the Fifth Reality. It talked to me, played with me, and showed me all the terrors. I to it told me that I was the key to its existence. Cry because it hurts. Inside my head. The stone of wisdom. Inside my head. January 13th, 1876. I can see myself around. The other me tell me lies, talks about all the pain and suffering in my life. The other me wants me to commit... Yeah, no. He smiles while pronouncing the words. And I have tried, hypnotized by his words, but there is always something saving me at the end. It must be the love to live. 
I meet a shadow for the first time. It talked to me. January 15th, 1876. The race is called the Kamalas. They hunt weakness and pain. I asked it about the possession of human bodies, and it said, We are born and feed from fear and the uncontrolled illness of human mind. We are invisible to them, but our existence grabs every single living cell of the body until the end. After that, it started raining, and it walked away from me, leaving me, uh, leaving a black oily path after it. I believe water may purify them. After seeing the Kamalas reacting to water, I thought of trying a little experiment. Last night, I encountered something amazing. Kamalas transformed into a new kind of creature when exposed to water. January 16, 1876. The metamorphosis was painful to watch. After the terrible screaming, the Kamalas calmed down and started to cry on the ground. It felt like the pain was disappearing. After a few minutes, a bright and peaceful being was rising in front of me. It felt like the bright creature could read my thoughts. I thank you for waking me up. I was suffering. I go where I belong. A thirst awaits. All Velakas must go there after waking up. If you wish to see the light, come with me. You have the key, it said. I didn't answer. After a while, it faded away. How many more pages are there? Oh man, there are so many pages. Okay, so we're gonna go back here. And I'll leave it up long enough for you to be able to pause and read at your own discretion. I wonder if these symbols are going to come into play. Okay, this looks like something we may need to know, however. That was definitely a lot, but I have a feeling we may have to come back to that. You told me that we have to find Mount Mountain Cotrim and the Great Wizard.
Hello, sir. What are you doing? Just standing here, you see. Oh, I see. Do you know where the mountain Cotrim is? Yes. Can you tell me where it is? Yes. Well, tell me, please. Mm -hmm. The mountain Cotrim is only in winter time. Winter time? What are you talking about? Mm, of course, winter time. What do you think? But I can't wait for winter time. Oh, you don't wait for it. You go there. Go? Oh, but how? Ugh, sorry, but I'm no good explaining things. Go down the stairs and then straight. You'll find a clockmaker. He can explain things, I think. He tried with me before. All right, thank you, sir. Do we get something that actually, like, changes the seasons? Because that would be pretty cool. Hello. Who is there? Who? Me, Fran, can't you see me? Uh oh, now I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Four eyes? I don't have... Uh, what are you selling? Only the very best robbers of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Sure. They look like coconuts. It's poo, miss. Who that I collect. They are not coconuts. Poo? Like in the toilet? Wow, I thought it was really bad to eat poo. Bad? Why? It's very yummy. We love it here. It makes everything grow and shine. Well, you can polish a turd and it's still a turd. Hee <laughs> hee. I have to get going now. Good luck with the plovers. Bye. So we have to keep going straight, and I'm guessing this is our clockmaker. Hello. What are you doing? Ah, uh, working on my clock. Oh, I see. Sir, do you know where I can find the great wizard? No, miss. I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Tick tock. Uh, and do you know where the Mount Cotrim is? The Mount Cotrim only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be in Mount Mountain Cotrim. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, a layered reality. That sounds great. What should I do then? Go to the big clock and change the season. Just change it. What clock? Well, go towards the castle, but turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. Thank you, sir. You have a v you are very nice. Bye. Hmm. Hello, miss. I think you have beautiful fruits. Thank you, dear. Would you like some? Oh, no. I'm on a mission to go back home, and I want to be hungry when I get there. Oh, so what part of Ithursta are you? From what part of Ithursta are you? Are you from outside the island? No, I'm not from Athirsta at all. I'm a human. Oh, a human. That's new. 
Well, I hope you complete your mission. Thank you, miss. I certainly will. See you. Alright, so we gotta go back. I guess we go up this way. Aha, uh -huh, so here's the tree. This is a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? So I'm assuming if we take this acorn... Oh, it sounds like something broke. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but how does it work? It has symbols and colors, but it doesn't seem to show time. Hello. Good day, living creature. All good? Yes, I'm fine. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Hmm. Are you waiting for someone? I'm... I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? They are a bit sour for my taste. The lemonade is yummy. Lemonade is what I will do with the lemons. For the customers of the bar, you know. And we put some other stuff inside, too. So we can fly. Fly? Wow, I would like to try that. It sounds great. Yeah, that is why I wait. You can't rush it. Hey. The bar opens in fall, and a very awesome dancer will perform. You should come and hang out. Maybe I will. It sounds fun. Thank you. Bye. Huh. It must say something important. Either that or I'm just not reading it right. Oh, wow. What are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the locus. Oh, you are very shiny. And you make me feel so happy. So very happy. Look, creature. One of the young Volacus will receive the shield. Om bak ma hia mil gro om bak gran Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed, let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Huh? Where are you going? We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir? Or miss? Hmm. Can you do magical things? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I wish to know things, and it's odd. I feel like you know everything. We are the light. We are everywhere. What answers are you looking for? I want to know who killed my parents, and why is that big monster hunting me? The truth will come to those who seek. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back on you. You are too fragile to face the truth just now, and too strong to let it go. But, dear, don't be sad. We have to keep on going. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Hmm. Whoa, what a huge Velocus. It's not real, though. 
Oh, this moves the arm of the Velocus. Incredible. trying to do is there maybe a clue in the book seeing anything. That will help us with this one. I wonder what they use that for. It has four arms. Maybe it's there to raise the roof. There are so many configurations to this thing that I highly doubt that I'll get it just by pressing things randomly. Let's head up this way. It's nothing here but trees and flowers. This mountaintop is very high because it's the top. Hmm. This is definitely where it gets interesting, but this broke. would like to borrow that boat. Maybe we gotta go back to the clockmaker. Because if it broke, then maybe the clockmaker knows what to do. Sir, I have a little problem. Mm. Yes, I don't have any. The big clock on the tree, it's broken. Can't make it work. Please help me. A broken clock? That's a disgrace. Poor clock. You have to help me. Please fix it for me. I beg you. I have to go home. I never fix a clock for nothing. Otherwise, my life's time goes to waste. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. Hmm, then no clock will ever be fixed. But how can I get a golden coin? Look, there is a snail that loves to give gold away. Talk to him. Oh, that is great. Thank you, sir. Bye. So we gotta find a snail that gives away gold coins. Good day, sir. Good day, little creature. I have seen flying boats, sir. How does that work? Think about them floating on water. But instead of water, it's air. It's so simple. And could I borrow one of your boats to fly away? I want to go home. Oh, go home. I see. Sadly, these boats only work with the Athersthenes. Huh, I see. Well, thank you, sir. Have fun making your boat. Ah, here's the snail. 
Hello. Good day, young one. Can I sit down? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Huh? What do you mean? Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one gold coin if you come back alive. Join you? Join you where? The game is about to begin. You are the Kamalas. I am the Valokas. Black and white, as shadows and light. Is that a sort of board game, sir? Yes, a board game. Let's immense in this adventure. You against me. I give you a coin if you win, hey? What do you say? Yes, sure. What are the rules? First, to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. We toss the machinery and see who begins. Are you in? Sure. It sounds like a game we used to play at school called Tic-Tac-Toe. But why would you just give me the gold if I win? I miss gold. And I'm very old. I've been around a long time. I just want to have a good time. I see. Well, let's play. Okay. Very well done, little creature. You are a master. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead. I think we're gonna go ahead and finish the episode right there. I think it's a good place to stop. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope you're still enjoying the story. Please hit the like button, drop a comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to check out the Atomic Cotton website, and I hope you have a great day.